So here is my first catch. I think it's a little something. Maybe it's, I don't think it's a bass. I think it's like a sunfish or something. Okay, so I'm happy. Well, hey guys, welcome back to Adventures with Crystal. I bought a tiny little rod and I just want to show it to you guys, so maybe you'd like it. I always keep it handy on my bike. If I want to stop someplace, I can go fish for a minute. But this seems to have worked for me. So when I motorcycle ride, I want to do it with the least amount of things to take. I don't take a big fishing tackle box for this at all. I'm a minimalist when it comes to this. It was about $35 and I thought it'd probably be a good thing to have with me. I'm taking very few supplies. I don't take worms. I fish with flies. I put flies on this and I catch fish. This is a Zebco 33 fishing rod and reel. It's worked really great for me on my fishing trips. All right, I'm going to show you how this works, okay? Little bitty thing. I can keep it in the case on my motorcycle and it fits really good. There's a little tiny case on the end of this, all right? All it does is pop open, but what it does is protects the tiny tip on the end. So you pop that open like so and it just slides right off, okay? And then you just start taking it apart. You wanna make sure that whenever you line everything up and tighten all these little extensions, that they're in line with your reel, okay, on the top of your reel. So you just take the first one and give it a twist. Take the second one and give it a twist. Next up, <laughs> take that one out and give it a twist. All right, so. That's not all, there's one more to go. So bring the little tiny one out. I know some people on Amazon, the reviews said that you gotta be careful with the very tiny tip one. So you probably do, I had no problems. I just think you have to treat it with respect, okay? And know that it's tiny and you have to know what this pole is all about. This is your super quick getaway pole. This isn't one you're gonna catch monsters with, okay? You just wanna get out, relax, sit by the lake or the river and fish a little bit and hope you catch something little. That's what this pole is all about. And that's all I do. I am happy to catch a minnow. All right. I'd be more happy to catch a big fish, of course, but I'm okay catching the minnow too. All right, so get this pole apart. All of you know how to fish, how you line these up, how you do this rod. All right, so anyway, this is my rod that I take with me. Folds down, and when you fold it back down, undo your line, okay? And so this rod, the first time I took it out and threw the line out into the water, it didn't go very far. I was like, what the heck? I got a cheap pole. Is this even going to work? But after about 10 casts, all at once it started working just right. So um, somebody said something about your line has to stretch a little bit and then the pole will work better. So I guess that's what it was happening for me. So when you put this thing back down, put it together line up all your little eyes see how i got my eyes all lined up put your, keep your case do not lose your case all right put the little put the little case back on do the little gizmo right here on the side that latches it there and now you've got your rod back down little bitty and i still need to take that little plastic thing off don't i ha let me show you my tackle box okay which is not a tackle box this is a little belt loop bag that i made um yeah, I make leather stuff, kind of fun. Um, but this is all I take, and it's got belt loops, and I can just hang it on my belt on my blue jeans. All right, let me show you what's in here, which is not much at all, guys. Okay, so this is what, well, let me show you this first. This is one of the flies that I catch my fish on. It's just a fly. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it out that way. Just a nice little fly, orange. This is the one that's worked for me this season so far. Just orange, ugly fly. It's got some tentacles. I don't know. My way to fish is to take a fly, throw it out there, see if something bites. If it doesn't, change it out. Okay. <laughs> so here is my, what I take fly fishing on my motorcycle. Here's my, just about my whole kit. All right. This has got a bunch of flies in it right there. I've got those little bobbers that you put on, those little orange and pink bobbers. I only take a few. Okay. And then I've got a few little weights in here that I keep. All right. They're just teeny tiny little weights. I don't know if you can see those or not. They're just tiny and a bunch of assortment of flies and I'll just throw some stuff in it. 
And I know you're supposed to look under rocks and find out which kind of flies you need. You know, what's biting, what's hatching, all that kind of stuff. And you, there's numbers, phone numbers you can call to check to see what are the fish biting. You know what? Fish are fish. They decide what they want to bite. I just, if something doesn't work, I just put something else on there. I've been making my own flies too, which has been a lot of fun. So I've yet to catch a fish on my own flies, but we'll see. And the other thing you can't forget, you got to have your lanyard, right? All right. So bring your lanyard, keep it handy for when you catch those fish, those big fish. The only thing I have on my lanyard, I've got one of these nippers. All right. This one is from Orvis. This one seems to work the best for me. It's really sharp and handy. Okay. And then you just need a little tiny scissors on there for if you need to cut your line. And my other thing I use is a Kelly clamp. The Kelly clamp I just kind of use to hold the fish to get it off of my hook. All right. And the other thing I use is barbless hooks. So the fish can just slide right off of there. But I don't want to hurt the fish. I just like catching them, you know, catch them and throw them back. So this is my minimalist fishing kit that I take with me when I hit all those little spots around the St. Louis area. I'm going to hit a bunch of them and I'll have it handy when I go for motorcycle rides. It should be a lot of fun. All right. I hope you get out. I hope you fish and have a great time. God, I wish it was better weather today. We had storms move through St. Louis last night, and that was really, really awful. All right, let me show you what is in my bag. All right, so this is my Harley Davidson Sportster that I take out on the road, all right? This is my Nelson One road bag, where I keep all my stuff that I need for my trips. So let me show you my minimalist fishing gear, okay? <laughs> Right. lots plenty of room in this so as you can see I've got a telescoping tripod that I have and so the other thing I have is a telescoping fishing net in case I would need that which I probably won't because I throw them back all right here's my rod that's my telescoping rod see how it fits in there so dinky the other thing I keep in here is a pair of sandals because I always wear leather boots on my motorcycle and Everything is in there that I need. That's my handy dandy belt tackle box. Okay. And that's it. A pair of sunglasses. This is a great bag, by the way. This Nelson. This is the Nelson Route 1 bag. I love this bag. I've got plenty of room for everything. And then, and then on the other side over here, I've got my other bag. <laughs> my evil bag. That one I put my drone in. 